So, twice upon a time, I have made videos related to Odujua. And as a Yoruba narrator, everything has been a Yoruba version of the story. Today, I am going to narrate the story of Odujua as a prince who was sentenced to death. This story contradicts its version in Yoruba. But what weird agreement does this story hold about how Yoruba was started? Long time ago, in a land called Igodo Migodo, there was a king called Uwodo. This king was blessed with many children. And of course, as most African kings, these children were born to him by many wives. And of all the children, only one of them is a male child, and he was called a Kaladiran. A Kaladiran's mother was Awoko, and Isaru happened to be one of her rivals. Isaru was barren. One day, Isaru approached Uwudu, their husband, and complained to him that since the birth of a Kaladiran, no one has been able to give birth to a male child in the palace. She said a Kaladino must have been a bad luck to them, or someone, maybe his mother, have done something to stop others from giving birth to their own children. Because of this, the king decided to send his messengers to consult the oracle on this matter. Isaru herself was among those who went to the oracle. When they got to the oracle, the oracle made it clear to them that a Kaladiran was not the problem and that for any other child to be born in the palace, they will have to sacrifice Isaru herself. Later, they headed home from the shrine and on their way, something happened. Isaru, the king's barren wife, made everyone swear to report to the king that it is Ekaladiron, the prince, that needs to be sacrificed and not her, or else she will lie to the king that they had raped her and that they are lying about the oracle's recommendation to escape the punishment. So they all agreed, and when they got home, you know, events went exactly according to their plan. A Kaladiron was marked to be sacrificed. When the day of the sacrifice came, he pleaded to everyone, but no one would listen. He was walked out of a Godomi Godo land where he kissed pleading with the executioners. Later on, the executioners agreed to let him go on the condition that he will never return to Godomi Godo again, and he agreed while they returned home with the news that they killed a Kaladiron. A Kaladiron went far away from the place, wandering about in the forest, and arrived at a place called Uwe, as at that time. Uwe, as at that time, is a community of people. These people are having problems in terms of administration. And when they come close to Ekaladiron, who had changed his name to Zudua, they deemed him fit as their new ruler. Time passed by, who were grew prosperous and popular under his administration. Igodo Migodo, his origin, likewise, was there, but with a problem. And the problem is that there was no king in the land. Ekaladiron's father, Owodo, had been exiled from the land on the charges that he sacrificed a pregnant woman. Since Owodo never gave birth to any other male child, the throne became vacant and they had to appoint a regent. When they had the fame of Ekaladiron, now Odudua in Uwe, they decided to persuade him to return to Godomigodu and serve as their king, but he wouldn't trust them. After a long plea and argument, he decided to give them some lies. 
and told them that if they can keep it for two years and bring it back alive, he would agree to their request. After two years, the lies were brought back alive. But by this time, Ududua was too old to go on such a journey. So he sent his grandson, Oromiyoju. Oromiyo, Ududua's son, went to Igodo Migodo, where he became king and took the first kingship title called Oba. One day, something that shook the Uwe land happened. Odudua's wives tried to wake Odudua up, but it never woke. The king had gone the way of his ancestors. Oromiyo later left Igodomigodo for the trouble he faced from the family of the acting king that was there before he came. This made him call the place Ileibinu, land of anger, which has been corrupted to what is called Benin today. He left his son in Benin, who continued his kingship line till today. Uwe, on the other hand, has been said to have become Ife, of which some would argue that it's not the exact Ufe that became Ile Ife.